usually for birthdays with me and my family, like if it's like my parents' birthday or sisters, we will have the cake. Like we'll we'll go and get cake <laughs> for their birthday. And so it was kind of last minute. My kids was like, "Well, it's grandma's birthday. Where's the cake?" And my wife was like, "Hey, if you close your eyes and I want you to imagine." But my kids were like, "Dude, we haven't gone to the store to get any cake, right?" And my wife was like, "But you got to imagine." Now, my oldest son thought that she was like pulling his leg. Well, come to find out there was actually cake from her birthday uh, not too long ago that was in the freezer that we had all forgotten about. So she went, she got it out of the freezer. We finished dinner. We cleaned up. And then um, we were all like, hey, what's up with this cake? She's like, all right, I want you all to close your eyes and think about it. And so, like, he started to cry because he was like, like, almost like, mom, why are you torturing me in this way? But my youngest son was very much like, oh, I can't wait. He was excited. My daughter, who's in the middle. Right. And so we close our eyes and come and she, we open our eyes. She had got this, like, beautiful array of her cake. Right, chocolate cake with buttercream vanilla icing, like one of the most, you know, delectable cakes you could imagine. The process of getting there was different for a lot of us, right? Initially, uh, my oldest son was very much like, why are you torturing me? You, you're you saying one thing and not doing it. Um, whereas my daughter and my youngest were very much like, man, I can't wait to taste this cake. I had a different experience. I didn't know we were going to get cake. Usually, I'm the one who gets it. Why? Well, I didn't know she had had gotten it out of the freezer and put it on top of the fridge. I, we opened up the fridge and it, it fell out in like a foil into my hand. So I saw it. So I knew what was going on. And so my thing was like, dude, I feel like God's the same way. He's like, just try me. Like, give me your heart. Give me your time. Give me your money. Give me your, your feelings and your thoughts and watch what I will do. Right. Some of us say, well, God, why are you torturing me? And others say, I can't wait. This is going to taste so good. Taste and see that the Lord is good.